Hey y'all, welcome back to Dead Space. This is part 34 in what is going to be, um, I guess it's going to be Isaac's last outing. Uh, we are about to go on my last mission. Now I could be completely wrong, <laughs> so let me have a look see what we're doing. Uh, it wasn't her, it was never her, just cross the marker. It did this and Daniels is able to, stop shaking, is able to escape and my last hope is to get the shuttle before the payload falls. How weird. There you go. So yeah, um, a bit of a revelation. Um, uh, I was walking around with uh, Dr. Cross this whole time. Now stop moving. <laughs> uh, yeah, and she was walking around with what she thought was Jacob this whole time. Uh, our minds got kind of um, twisted around by the marker. So I, what I believe was uh, the ghost of um, uh, Nicole was not actually the ghost. It was actually... Um, Dr. Cross, but I, my mind was telling me that it was actually Nicole. It's kind of weird. So I was kind of right about her dying, but what I wasn't right about was um, uh, uh, that she was uh, just a ghost, <laughs> I guess. So uh, there you go, and, uh, and uh, Daniels is um, taking the marker back, and she killed Dr. Cross, so she's on my um, top of my list for getting a whooping. And also, oh, oh yeah, and Nicole, she killed herself. Yeah, she kind of injected herself maybe with a poison. That's not the kind of way I thought she died, so that's very, very soul-destroying, I guess. But then again, I kind of always knew just by the way we were interacting. So let's get this on. Let's see what powers are with me now. Okay. So there we go. One last look at the um, sky. Is there anything down here? No, okay. Oh, hello. Oh. It's lost its tethers, and it's definitely falling. So look at the rocks falling. I better get out of here. Where are we going? Oh, to the shuttle, I guess. Reach the landing. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Last warning, Isaac. I mean it. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, ouch. <laughs> oh, no. Man, you deserve the whooping, but I don't know about that. Oh, uh, bananas. Uh, hell no! <laughs> Can I go home now? Uh, don't antagonize it, Isaac. You ain't got much left at all against this creature. Okay, so I gotta dodge them. Great, now the interface is in my way. Get out of the way. Get out of my vision interface. <laughs> He says with panic in his voice. Okay, we're doing good. I think I hit someone. And again. And again, there we go. It's going well. Just gotta keep running backwards and forwards. Just gotta keep on weaving like a rabbit, I guess. Ooh, hello! Okay, what the hell are these? Let's get out of them. Gotcha, that a teacher. Oh great, flame of court, just what I want. I stand here. Well, just throw him over here. And then I run over here. Okay, that works. Keep still, are you a monster? That was a lucky shot. Run, keep running. Keep running. Keep going over here. Lucky shot. All my shots are lucky. 
keep running. Oh, one, he's got one left. Oh, yep. Run over here, buddy. I'm gonna run over here if you don't mind. Or, or in Isaac's terms, walk. Stay still. Trying to get you. Come on, it must have got you now. Oh, come on. Ridiculous. Okay. Okay, you throw your arm and I'll run this way. And still get caught. Gotcha. <laughs> I took a couple of hits here on purpose, just so I can steady my weapon. Okay. Run away. Uh oh, hello. You stand back now. Nobody likes you. Any other creatures coming? That to do my friend. Okay. Run away. I run over here. Oh, I'm tra trapped. There we go. They wouldn't let me get out the corner. Kind of crazy. Don't mind if I try and pick these up to you, sir. Oh, I'm out of... Oh, what's going on now? Oh, avoid them. Keep running. Oh, hello. Shoot them. Oh, that's ridiculous. I shot all them. Come on. Oh, you cheater. You're a cheating game. I could have sworn I um, upgraded my weapon. Clearly not. Oh, what the bananas is this? Pea soup? If you don't like pea soup, you don't have to spit it out. Okay. Okay, keep on it, keep on it. Oh, come on, dude. Give it up, dude. I'm sure there's like a miss kind of um kind of a glitch with this. Uh oh, here comes a pea soup again. Okay. Oh, come on, I avoided that, you cheater. And that. So my Ford Isaac's got the um, speed of a turtle. I stand over here. Is it the pea soup? It's a pea soup. Oh no, stay over here. No, go back. Stay over here. Oh, all they keep doing is giving me, um, Sasis packs. I don't need them. A waste of treasure, that is. Stop hitting me. You know it's not good. See, I'm definitely hitting that a lot of times. This game's cheating.
Ok. Oh, that was lucky. And that was not lucky. Oh, hello. the bananas come on dude <laughs> stop waving around I can't get you gotcha okay ready for another round I guess What? Here we go, round number two. Uh oh, what's he gonna do now? Don't you dare get bigger. Oh, covered in pea soup. Oh, did I do it? I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my god, I did it? Really? Oh my god. <laughs> Leave the planet. Heck here, I'm leaving the planet. What's that say there? Uh, today's menu is pea soup. <laughs> okay. So that's it. I did it. I hope I've done it. Is that all of it? So who would have thunk all my time of complaining about the flame? It kind of came in useful. Well, I better keep away from it in case it kind of snakes up and gets me. And take out your trash with you. Can't believe that. <sighs> Just gonna catch a breather here. There we go. Oh, actually, I should be getting out of here because of the um, falling rocks. Okay. Completely out of medication. So what's it say on here? And it says... Oh, there's a locked room I've not been in. Why is that locked? Where is that room? Oh, that's... Okay, that's the room where uh, uh, Dr. Cross went through the first time. Okay, uh, let me look on here. Leave the plant. Oh, okay, that's it. We done it, guys. We done it. Okay. Is anything over here? Nope. No, it's all done. No more secrets. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> oh, that is fitting. My my hatred for the flamer. Oh, and there it is. And there's a marker. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you believe that? Flamer fuel is the last thing I pick up. <laughs> oh, that is terrible. Okay, where am I going? Ooh, no, hang on. Okay, I go here. There you go. I've gone here. There, okay, got it. Dude. Goodbye, Ishimura. Goodbye, Aegis 7. And goodbye, Dr. Cross and Daniels and uh, my Nicole and Hammond. And hello, Shuttle. Am I going to survive?
Put the shield up, dude. I think it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, that's uh creepy. Oh, there you go everybody. We got it done. Com I completed it. I can't believe it. On medium mission uh, medium level. I got kind of 99% of the law. I got all the uh, the weapons. I think I got all the suits as one suit that's kind of missing, so that's kind of interesting. Um Yeah, that's obviously um his mom playing tricks on him cuz that's not Nicole. Uh <laughs> Yeah, a bit of a jump scare, that one, I guess. Um, Yeah, that boss fight was kind of, um, I guess that boss fight was not that hard, but I did have it on medium. But then again, I'd grown accustomed to um, using a particular kind of weapon, and and the weapons I had on offer were the ones I'd maxed up the most. That's the uh, Ripper Blade, the Pulse Rifle, Pulse Rifle, and the Plasma Cutter, so there you go. Uh, on the on the weapons front, yeah, I kind of use them a lot. I hated the flamer; they just kept giving me flamer fuel all the time. But I found a good use for the flamer, so I shouldn't go too hard on the flamer. It's not its fault. <laughs> There's some weapons I uh, my my shoddy. I can't remember what it was called. It's the contact beam is one of them. I, I called it my shoddy. I like that weapon, but I didn't use that in the last few stages. No, maybe it's the contact beam, the one that looks like the Ghostbusters weapon. I uh, didn't use that much. I didn't really understand what the um, alternate file was, but yeah, I, I loved all the uh, different um, uh, weapons you could do in the upgrades and the kind of little tree you got. I love all the super suit upgrading and the store was quite kind of cool and all that. So yeah, that was a. I got to tell you, I had a blast. This was like the. I'm not too much of a fan of scary horror gore. It's gore. I'm not a fan of gore. I'm okay with ghost stuff, but scary stuff, mm, I'm a little bit on the fence with that. Uh, so, he, other than that, I mean, this scared the socks off me for a while, but... <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know, I mean, in the initial stages, my, my heart was pounding all the time. You could hear, if you play the game, you can hear Isaac's heart pounding all the time, and that's kind of my, like what my heart was doing as well. But as longer the game got on, um, I kind of uh, de got desensitized, I was okay with it, I kind of understand... Well, I understood how the um, Necromorphs were going to attack. And uh, I, I got to tell you, I love the um, different uh, variants they had on there. Like the um, Lilo and Stitches, the Spitters, the, the, the Crawlers, or the, and the Sea Pancakes. I call them that because they look like a Stingray, which to me, when I was a kid, used to call it a Sea Pancake. So, so that, those, those ones were pretty cool. Then we had the um, ones, the Invincible ones, I had the um, legs just wouldn't cut off. They, they were kind of... A, a nightmare. Then you had the um, speedo moths, ones which are absolutely jacked up on caffeine. They were <laughs> they were a lot of um, terrible terror fun, I guess. And and also uh, it was quite it was quite awesome to go in combat uh, with the hunter. And I, I, I kind of dealt with the hunter by luck, I guess, more than knowing what to do. Especially the first time I met him, I kind of froze him. It just came came to me, I guess. Um, yeah, I absolutely love the um, Necromorphs in this. Uh, the the thing that creeped me out the worst was uh, when they went into the laboratories with the um, babies and that that oh, that just creeped me out. I, it could I could deal with not having that on the game. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Um, I think the pacing of the game was great. It was just absolutely awesome. I loved loved the fact they added little bits of lore. Uh, <laughs> it was. 
quite difficult for me to read at times. I mean, my reading's good, but I was trying to read it in the in the state of mind of the people who were writing it as, but uh, I kept getting distracted by all the voiceovers and the tannoy announcers that kept interfering with me, and and I find it hard to talk, and I got lots of voices booming over the top of me. Maybe I should, should have turned my volume down, then I could get read things out properly, I guess. So yeah, my, my, my bugbears on this game is, um, there was a lot of um, glitching and, you know, like um, a lot of the screens weren't loading in at the beginning of the beginning of the game when the game was first released. Um, and I still hold to that. The, the, the initial release of this game was a bit glitchy and buggy and I would have given it as maybe a 7 out of 10 on, on just the glitches alone. Just completely messing it up. But I, I managed to get a get my head around of doing a kind of an any file and I kind of made a mod, put that in my my game and I kind of fixed it um, there was a level in I think it was it was either hydroponic no it was not it wasn't hydroponic it was the level after the, the one with the elevators and oh, where, you know where the mark was in that big big room and he got those elevator shafts and all that and, and the yeah it was that big room I can't remember the, what it was called but uh, the game crashed quite a few times in there, there for some reason I don't know what was going on now it's obviously a couple of um, visual glitches with the fog, sometimes it was too foggy. And if it was too, too foggy, I knew it's, my, my game was having a bit of a struggle. I had my game set on all max settings, but my game, my, my system is pretty damn good enough to take on this game. It's just, I think it had a lot of issues in there. Um, Storyline, loved it, absolutely loved it. <laughs> uh, I started, you know, I could really identify with um, Isaac's struggles and... Yeah, I love the fact that they're trying to emulate him going into um, crazy mode, you know, where he's, he's falling deeper and deeper into mental instability because of um, the marker. It was kind of a good twist on what they did, especially with um, Daniels. I kind of, I had it in for Daniels at the beginning. I kind of knew because of the way she had this attitude and the fact that they hit her history. Hammond, I knew, was straight up a good guy, just the way he is. He's just like a blue collar guy. He just... Doing, doing his job the way his job should be done. So I kind of liked him. Uh, the, uh, what was it? Dr. Kind? Dr. Kind? Who's the other doctor? <laughs> it's gone through my head already. But uh, that doctor, I just wanted to slap him up. But um, I never got a chance to kill him. He got killed by the, his own creation, I guess. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I love the storyline. It was absolutely brilliant. I like the um, Tom Cruise Scientology uh, aspect they had about it. Yeah, I... I don't think there's much else I can say about the um, storyline, other than, yeah, I just wish it was, um, I wish they'd made, um, kind of Nicole more kind of human. I think maybe they redid their lines, or they didn't do their lines in, in together. They probably had, were isolated when they read out their lines, but you could clearly say, see there, and here, there was just no chemistry at all with them. So I would, um, I would pull up the, um, game on its glitches. It's bad kind of um, chemistry, the way the characters reacted. Apart from, I think Daniels was the best character in the whole game. Uh, I like that uh, Isaac had a voice. I, I was, I've not played the original, so I don't know if people are upset about that. But I like that he had a voice. Uh, this is another bugbear of mine. Um, it was kind of weird that all the, um, all the uh, people outside of um, being Isaac were louder. And when you're the protagonist, you expect your vo voice to be kind of heard above everybody else's but he was the quietest one there so i was trying to like play around with the um audio settings trying to turn everything down turn down all the um effects and just try and make his voice louder it, sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't so yeah that was a bit of a bugbear um the game mechanics i do not think they were that clunky apart from um the uh, sprint mechanics but then again i am playing on an xbox one controller if I played it on PC, I might have found it easier, but I, I, I just don't like playing games with mouse control, mouse and, and keys on this kind of game, that is. Um, so maybe that was my bad. Um, yeah, the, so the sprinting was kind of hard to negotiate. Sometimes he, he wouldn't load up her, his um, medication. If he'd, he'd be stuck in kind of A mode and you'd have to like um, come, out, come out of everything. There's no quick switch around or a hot key. So that was kind of irritating. There's also no hot, no hot keys. You had to go into the um, kind of s menu to switch your guns around. So I wish there was a hot key for that. This is only using a controller. I don't know if there's a hot key version set up for the PC. So that was kind of um, 
that was a bit of a pain in the keister for me. But the, the thing that disappointed me the most about this game was <laughs> the annoying Tannoy announcers. They, they just, they just kept ruining my whole day. <laughs> when it comes to sound, I would say this is the um, best soundscape I've ever heard in my life for any kind of game. It, it probably rivals any movie you've ever seen. So yeah, I mean, the just the effects they use and just to get you um, out of your seat just absolutely brings terror to you throughout the whole game. It had a tendency to irritate you with the um, Tannoy announcements, but I kind of like the way the um, sometimes the announcements were kind of warped, like the batteries were going. Uh, so, you know, like a doorbell when it starts sounding like a spooky thing. So they did th that a couple of times in some of the areas. I kind of like that. Uh, that was really, really cool. I mean, yeah, I can't say anything more other than that. that is the best soundscape I've ever heard in my life. Uh, on, on levels and things like that, I love the level designs. Um, the medical bay is the creepiest one for me. I just hate medical stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I, ca I kind of hated that one. And I like hydroponics. That's always my favorite one. Uh, it's, some, of, some of the levels are very claustrophobic. I felt claustrophobic in the kind of... The levels are like near, near the engine room. I found kind of very claustrophobic in there. I love the fact they got you to float around. We got to play a kind of a weird game of basketball, so that was kind of cool. Uh, there wasn't really many pe puzzles. Uh, the collectibles, I don't think they gave you much. I'm not too sure about that one, but yeah, there you go. There's my thoughts on those little items there. But apart from that, I, I, visually, it, it, was, it was stunning. It was stunning. Uh, but apart from that, I'm going to give this game just the impact it's had on me. I'm going to give this game a 9. I'm just going to say this is a 9 out of 10. For a remake, I wonder what the original was like. But for me, and, and all the awful stuff they brought out recently, which is just um, brought out and then they'll fix it later kind of stuff, this this has been a kind of breath of fresh air, I, I guess. So yeah, this is definitely a 9 for me. It's the, this is the greatest horror game I've ever played, and I have not played a lot of them. So yeah, I can't wait to see what happens next. Now, uh, they came up with, um, they gave you a free copy of Dead Space 2. I'm hesitant to play that because I'm I'm hoping they bring out a remake of Dead Space 2. So I'll keep my eyes open for that. If not, I'll play Dead Space 2. But yeah, there you go, everybody. I think that was absolutely a beautiful game. Uh, it scared me silly in times. Oh yeah, uh, it was. I don't think it was that hard. I think the bosses were kind of easy. Some of the bosses, the midterm bosses, were a lot um, harder than the, the final boss. But then again, by the time I got to the final boss, <laughs> I, I was emotionally and physically drained from it all. So I was okay with it being that easy. And who doesn't like pea soup, eh? <laughs> the interface, the um, HUD, was the best HUD I've ever seen in my life. All the stuff you, all the information you wanted was on Isaac's suit. So that was kind of cool. It was not um, interfering with the screen or, or the view. So yeah, I'm going to give the game on, on the HUD alone, it would be a, a 10 out of 10, but for the bugs and issues and some of the clunkiness, it's definitely a 9. So there you go, everybody. Um, I'll leave you with that. Um, sincerely look after each other. Have a really nice day, and I will see y'all.
like a diamond in the sky when the blazing sun is gone when the nothing shines upon then you show your little light twinkle twinkle all the night then the traveler in the dark Thanks you for your little spark. He could not see which way to go if you did not twinkle so. Thanks. Sure.